It was the horrific crash that we first told you about yesterday. A wrong way driver slams into several vehicles, including a mega bus that was traveling from Dallas to Houston. Two people were killed in that crash. The wrong way driver and this mother of six who was driving one of the vehicles that was hit. Our Brandon Walker spoke with her family and joins us live now. And Brandon, it's just heartbreaking. Indeed it is, Dominique. Praxitis Morales lived here in Alvin for a long time. In fact, she raised her family here. Her daughter tells me that she was on her way back to Alvin last night because she had to pick her up in time from work at 6 o'clock. When she didn't get there, she didn't know what happened, her daughter says, until the phone rang. That's when she found out. She was the hardest working woman. Praxitis Morales knew how to fight. It wasn't easy for this mom of six. She always tried her best selling quilts, selling perfumes to feed us when we were little. Yet she survived, says Francesca, her eldest, and through it all. She loved me. She loved. To know what Morales meant is to see the grief in her children's faces, from her eldest Francesca to Roman, her youngest. They lost their mother yesterday. It just broke my heart. Killed after a driver crashed head-on into her car on I-45 in New Waverly. Doctors tried, but couldn't. Praxitis Morales was 51 years old. She was always giving us advice Mama. about life, how to take Mama. it, straightforward, uh, never give up. Part of that lesson included keeping faith within family. She lived by prayer. Loved a good adventure, too. She was the bravest woman I have ever known. In a sense, that bravery, that strength, makes this loss sting ever more. Their rock, their mother. And I will always be grateful. Always. Gone. I admire her so much. She loved every one of us. Truly gonna miss her. And the family tells us that they're still working out funeral arrangements. Part of that is making sure the finances are together for this. On our website, click2houston.com, we've got a link to a GoFundMe page. I've also tweeted it out as the family works to raise money to bury their mother. We are live for you tonight in Alvin. I'm Brandon Walker, KPRC Channel 2 News. We are so, so sorry for their loss, Brandon.